Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jazzy AD and today I'm going to be doing a matte Moselle lipstick review for you guys. I hope I said that right. I hope I'm not butchering it. You guys know me. I'm not good with the pronunciations but I'm wearing one right now with the gloss bomb on top of it so if you guys want to see how I got this look go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so getting right into the video, I'm just going to be doing my transition shades. Um, this is probably just going to be a natural, everyday look. I use natural very loosely, but um, I already did my eyebrows. Um, basically, Rihanna don't have eyebrow products, so I won't be using that. But um, I just basically used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I mean, maybe I'll make a video for you guys showing you guys how I do my eyebrows. It's really nothing to it. I don't do anything really crazy. So yeah, I'm just basically taking um, a light brown shade and a reddish brown shade. Those are like my perfect transition shades. You know. So I'm really excited about these new Matte Moselle. Am I saying that right? Mademoiselle lipsticks because I'm not a heavy lipstick wearer. I'm not a person that wears like a lot of lipstick, but I would love to get into more lipsticks. I think it's fun. I think it's cool. Um, I Sidebar, I just seen that NARS came out with a 16 hour long wear foundation. That is definitely on my list to get because I definitely want to do that as a like walk through for you guys done like to check it ready with me is I'm actually really nervous because I was literally like what am I gonna talk to them about like I'm not really that interesting <laughs> I have a chit chat get ready with me coming up more about like explaining why I'm doing YouTube and like different topics like that so I didn't really want to repeat it in this video I wanted to be more about Rihanna and her Fenty Beauty line I was really excited that she was coming out with the line because first of all she was really about the whole natural just like skin finish like kick and for me when I wear makeup I try not to I'm not a full coverage type of girl I'm not somebody who wears makeup every single day um, not because I don't want to more of because my skin is really sensitive so it's very hard wow I have something in my eye <laughs> but because it's extremely hard for me to um, wear makeup for a really long time because I start to see, wow, I really have something in my eye. Dang. Oh, there it is. I got it. Okay. <laughs> but for me, it's just after a while, I can start to see that the makeup, it causes a lot of bumps and a lot of redness. I start to see it fading. Um, a lot of the makeup that I used to get used to transfer and I'm a person that is very oily I have combination sensitive skin like the worst but I'm the type of person that I can see literally like what the makeup is doing to my face so I try to stay away from it as much as possible and the fact that I don't really go out I don't really have anywhere to go I'm not too self-conscious about um wearing makeup like that's that's the one good thing I guess because I don't feel like I have to wear it all the time. I do it more of as like something fun to do. Something to look more a little bit more put together. And something to just honestly enhance my beauty. And I feel like that was really like Rihanna's message was like enhancing your beauty. It was like you know your skin but better type of thing. <laughs> And I'm not explaining what I'm doing for you guys. But anyways, <laughs> all I really did was take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I put it in my inner crease. I use this mainly as a um, like a base for my inner corner highlight because I find that it actually makes my shimmers and my light colors like stick out more. Today I'm going to be using the color confetti. I just love these things. They're so cute. They're like a matte finish packaging. They they're magnetic they connect they're like literally amazing i i'm a sucker for packaging if you have good packaging chances are i'm gonna buy you but this is literally what confetti looks like it's just i don't know how to explain it i'm gonna swatch it for you guys but it's just beautiful it's like purple and blue so i'm just gonna apply this to my inner corner for a little bit of highlight I think that looks crazy. I know it's so hard to see, oh my god, but it looks so good. I didn't expect it to look, you know, this good, 
but it's pretty it's like such a unique highlight like it just it's really like a pop of color so if you're being boring like me and just doing like a reddish brown this is this is a good look so I don't know if you guys can see this because honestly I got it everywhere but I literally just used my finger and I just dabbed it on top of the matchstick and placed it onto my inner corner. I found that it kind of worked better because there's a lot of fallout guys. I'm going to clean it up. I promise. Okay and just like that the lashes are on. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little bit of work touching up to my eye makeup but basically like I said guys you just have to keep going back and forth with the colors because it'll just make them more pigmented for the inner corners I just dragged it a little bit more into my lid and just made like a little come over so that way you could see it more so moving on to the face I'm going to be using the actual Fenty Beauty soft matte pro filter primer I honestly love this primer it's pretty much like a lotion. It has this really cool like soft pink matte look. I don't know if that matters. But, but I'm just going to be applying this to my problem areas. Mostly my T-zone, my bottom half of my face. I don't really have much problems with the top half of my face. Thankfully. But I am the color 410. Um, I would probably go down a shade. And then I'm going to be taking a beauty blender. It's so pretty. It's all new. So I'm just going to dot it onto the face and then blend it in. So I personally like to work my way up the face. I don't know why I use this method, but I tend to use less makeup once I get to the top of my face because I do notice that the bottom half of my face is darker than the top half. So I don't use as much makeup when I get near the top. I'm looking at my camera right now and I can literally see the color difference, but give it a minute, I swear it will just, I don't look crazy, as crazy as it looks up here. <laughs> and this foundation is pretty fast drying, so when you do have it, I would say work rather quickly. So next I'm going to go in with the Matchstick Caramel. It's her um, concealer that she has. Just watch it for you guys really quick. Um, I find this concealer really good. I actually was using it on its own like in my other looks, my everyday looks for a while because it's so easy to apply. Like it's so creamy. Um, it's like the perfect highlight shade I feel for me. And it's just really easy. It really just glides on the skin. And I think the best part about her products that I really like is the fact that you don't need to go in with a powder afterwards because honestly I really hate putting so much like products on my face because I can feel my skin like not feeling okay after that. Like I really just feel super cakey or sometimes I feel really dry. So if I don't, if I have to just skip the step of a powder, I'm all ears. And then I'm just going to go in with the Beauty Blender and blend this out. So, okay guys, so last but not least, I'm going to be putting the Matchstick Rum as my highlight shade. So for this, I like to take just um, a normal dome shape tapered brush and I like to just, you know, wish it back and forth on top of the highlight and then apply the highlight that way. You can also apply it with your fingers. I have tried that before too. So I'm just bringing this on the top of my cheek and then applying it to the side of my eye and also on the top of my eyebrow. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Dang, girl, you beaming though. <laughs> So now for the moment that you guys all pretty much clicked on this video for, it's the Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle Plush Matte Lipsticks. I got two colors for you guys today, and it's going to be the color, oh my god, if I really wanted to say this, I don't want to butcher it, but one of them is called Shoddy, I can tell you that. The second one, I don't, I'm not going to even attempt that, like, Gri Griselda? Griselda? 
I don't know. So pretty much out of the packaging, they have these really super pretty like mirrored packaging. Oh my god, this is... Like I said, I'm a sucker for packaging. Like, Riri, you got me. So once you open it, it's so cute. It has a little FB for Fenty Beauty. And then, of course, your normal twist. And then this one is Griselda. So I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. And then the second shade that I have. So this color is Shouty. Shouty. And it is so, first of all guys, those are, those swatches are pretty pigmented. So I'm pretty sure you're going to get your money's worth out of this. They're, they're not even that expensive. I think they're like $18. I'm going to list it in the bottom bar down below. But this one is beautiful. This is a nice brown shade. I feel like for me, this will be like an everyday color for sure. Alright guys, so this is the first shade, Griselda. I freaking love this color. Like this is a perfect red shade for me. I'm not a red shade girl, but... This, it's like a wine color. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a deep red and a brown. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, and this is what Shaori looks like. And I wanted to try at least one shade with the gloss bomb over on top of it. The gloss bomb just took it to another level. And honestly, I freaking... I love it. I love okay, guys, so this is a completed look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope this was interesting. I hope it was helpful. But either way, I'm really happy with the end result. I think this is an amazing look. But I had a lot of fun making it. I had a lot of fun with these colors. This is the gloss bomb on top of the lipstick. But I think it just looks awesome. The lipsticks overall, in my opinion, are amazing. I wasn't sure I was going to like this color, but after adding the gloss bomb on top of it, thumbs up thumbs up like you should thumbs up this video like you guys should like and subscribe and comment down below what else you guys want to see what else you guys want me to do and i'll see you guys in the next video